Hello and welcome to this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for the PlayStation 3. Joining us today is uh, Chrono Ocelot, our currently level 45 Dragoon, and we are in the snowy blizzard, snow whatever, cold place of Quarthus. <laughs> and, um, and today what we're going to be getting into is our level 45 Dragoon um, quest line, I suppose. So let's go ahead and take a, a step away from this little moogle here, and uh, Mr. Al Burke, the uh, grandpa of the of the storylines, he wants to tell us too much normally. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and have a quick chat to him, and if he starts to bug us, then we are going to just skip through. So just a just a fair warning. But anyway, here we go. Um, Double Dragon is the name of this quest. We have been waiting for it for quite some time. Uh, we were at level 44 um, last time. We were stuck there for a little bit, and uh, decided to just do some fate leveling. So um, it was kind of late at night, but I did spend the evening fate grinding and was able to get level 45 as soon as I was. Then I wanted to come do this. So anyway, with that little history behind us, um, experience that we're going to be getting is 12,420. And Albert has been eagerly awaiting my arrival. Impeccable time in Chrono. A message arrived from Estenine, but moments ago, much to my astonishment. He would trade words with us and bid us meet him at Boulder Downs. As to his true intentions, I cannot say. It may well be a trap, but we must go nonetheless. I trust I can count upon your company. Alright, All right. perfect. Simple enough, right? So Boulder Downs is going to be back this direction. Straight out through the way we came in. I'll zoom out the screen just a touch. And there we go. So we're going to be heading straight down this location towards this fate. And we're going to turn your hearth light off. And there we go, our little red area, as you can see right there, double dragon. So that's going to be where we're going to head to. Let's see, fate discovered nearby. That guy just sitting around there. Perfect. So it does look like we have somebody fighting a good fight. So I will assist them. So we have one. Okay, and I did switch up my um, hotbar settings. So now I have a macro that has that does a little bit of stuff for me. So because uh, I found myself, I was always doing the same thing whenever I did it. So. Start off with uh, my macro right there for the bottomized slash fracture, and so all I gotta do is just uh, let it happen. Oops, it's yeah, so anyway, uh, that's one of my things that I got going. Is uh, yeah, that just that little ability to let that happen. Jump, right, so I was able to help that person out. Miss Luma. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, um, so for bottomized fracture, I was always doing those two, but they were taking up two different spots. So what I decided that I was going to do is uh, set up a macro for them, where I can just use them back to back by hitting one button. So I'm going to test that out and seeing how that's going to work out. And I also do the same thing down here with my impulse drive and my disembow. So yeah, just just going to try out those and see if it works out a little bit easier for me. But by me taking up that, I was able to clear two spots. Which I was able to pull in my um, was this blood bat, blood for blood and a life surge from my second column. So yeah, just a little something interesting there. Okay, so right up here is where we're going to be going to. I would imagine he'd be up top versus down low because I mean we're dragoons, right? Oh, he wants to battle. He wants to run. We gotta do it. Okay. Oh. Work on this guy. One shadow dies. So yeah, I hit that now. I don't have to do anything else. You just watch the global cooldown. Guys, okay, it's pretty cool. I think so. Oh, get him in time. Make 
Scheiße, was denn? us for another four seconds, three seconds. Excellent, all right. So with this destination being the case here, um, health is all healed up. Let's go ahead and check it out. Nice little meeting place. Greetings, Master. It has been too long. Estheny, end this folly at once. You must know that each second the eye passes outside, Ishgard's walls brings us closer to a repeat of the tragedy twenty summers past. Surrender yourself and the eye, and return with me to Ishgard before it's too late. Ah, but it is already too late, Master. For you see, Nidhogg has already awakened. What? Hear me, Master. You have mistaken the cause of the dragon's return. The eye is not to blame. The premonition came to me by virtue of the dragon within, warning me that the great worm would soon rose. Even as he slumbered, Nidhogg, Nidhogg seethed, seethed with irrepressible rancor for that wound of 20 years ago. That rancor will send him flying as a speeding arrow to Ishgard, whereupon death and devastation will ensue. But there is a possible solution. Were the eye taken to a remote land, far from the Holy See, then, and only then, could destruction be averted and the lives of innocent Ishgardians be spared. You mean to make a bait of yourself? Nay, there is more to this than you let on. You seek vengeance for Ferndale. To me, the two are one and the same. You know my past better than any else. It is for no other reason that to then to avenge my family that I became a dragoon. Dragons long outlive men and do not soon forget the wrongs done to them. What grudge they harbor burns as a fire in their hearts over time swelling into an unquenchable inferno. You need only look back on history to see that Nidhogg grows stronger with each awakening. When last he darkened our skies, the great worm came within a hair's breadth of laying waste to Ishgard. Not short of death will prevent him from completing his mission when next he wakes. Nidhogg took everything from me. Now I shall take everything from him, even if it means my life. The eye works in ways men can ill comprehend, but this much is plain. In choosing two Azure Dragons in one generation, it means for us to join together in common cause. Adventurer, you have heard my resolution. Now I ask that you lend me your power, I, the power of the, of the dragon. In the long and proud history of Ishgard, never before have two Azure Dragons arisen in the same era to fight as one. This is our best, nay, our only chance to send the Great Worm to eternal slumber. Behold my armor. This is the dragon mail forged in lifeblood of dragons. As blood calls to blood, so does the armor call to the dragon within, redoubling the wearer's strength thereby. If you would realize your potential as an azure dragon, you must needs clad yourself in the same. Clad so. You will inherit the technique passed from Azure Dragon to Azure Dragon down through the generations. Then and only then will your training be complete. But first, you must win the Dragon Mail as I and Sir Albrecht did before you by proving yourself worthy in the ultimate trial of the Azure. A series of battles so harrowing as to send the unworthy to an early demise. Master, once the adventurer acquires the armor, pray see to it that he learns to harness the power of the dragon in full. That's the name, wait! 
Save your worries. I do not mean to make myself easy prey for dragons. I take my leave of you. Nice. So it's time for us to go ahead and get our dragoon armor. Probably not all of it, but um, judging from the white mage um, quest line that we did before with the Zanza, it's probably just going to give us a whole bunch of pieces, pieces minus the actual weapon and the body piece. So nice, just thought that was interesting. And oh, bigger they are. Uh, where is this right there? I would jump straight down there, but I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> so that was a little sprint this way instead. Take a more strategic route. And which way do I go for this? Around this way. Let's see if we can avoid that giant there. So we quench ourselves. There he is. We got one person taking this on? She is such a gangster. Needs to be a dragoon, I suppose. Do this all on my own. some extra extra firepower here pretty soon. Out there, Akan Luma. It didn't work. Very good job. That's a lot of fury. Better now than just not getting some of the attention now.
Sheesh, that was tough. Oh, she did a great job. Yeah, she just about took care of that whole thing on her own. Good job. Alright. So, next up we are... Oh, let's see here. Speak with Albert back at that main area camp. So, fantastic. Off we go. And it's actually going to be kind of fun because it uh, looks to be like she's doing the exact same quest as I am. So, yeah. If I ever run into anything, any issues, I need some sort of a uh, guard to help me out. She might be around, maybe. It's always nice to have a cushion. But, yeah. So, what oh, fate is this one back here? That lightning strikes again. Okay. And we are reaching the end part of these uh, these lightning fates. So, actually, by the time this video is visible to the public, those lightning fates will have been gone. They were only available from um, sometime in November, about like November 11th or something like that, to uh, December 9th. So, here it is, uh, I believe, December. Fourth, fifth right now during the uh, actual recording of this video so yeah. yeah whenever I upload it out up to YouTube I don't know what day it will be but pretty sure that the lightning the lightning fates will be gone by that time so uh, yeah, if you guys did reach this episode and you watched all the other ones make sure to take a peek at the lightning fates if you're curious to see what it was like what rewards that you got from it uh, what my experiences were of course but yeah I'm looking forward to uh, more fates that are going to be similar to that, like, like seasonal type fates. It's always fun. Okay, so having a chat back to Mr. Albert here. Estanine. Forgive me, I was deep in thought. Now then, as to acquiring the armor of which Estanine spoke. At first, it was my intention to bequeath my own armor to you. I am an Azure Dragon no longer. Uh, as an Azure Dragoon no longer, and its powers are wasted on me. It would be simple enough to hand it over to you and complete your training right here and now. But it is as Essene said, the Dragon Mail is no ordinary armor. Its strength derives from the Dragon's blood whence it came, the blood's power resonating with the soul of the, we of the wearer. Though I can no longer draw upon mine, my mine own armor's power, um, it's bound to me, well, it's bond to me was forged years ago, excuse me, where, uh, were I to bestow it upon you now, you would be able to avail yourself of a fraction of its power. Aye, Essenine has the right of it. You must claim your armor as he and I did before you. You must complete the trials of the Azure, that the powers of the dragon's blood be yours and yours alone. The ogre's belly will be the site for your final test. I shall dispatch Sir Bruce Mont there. Seek him out upon your arrival. Fantastic. Alright, so ogre's belly is where we're going to head off to. As you can see, double dragon. Um, and that's what's going to complete our trial. So we're going to teleport right up to our uh, Count Dragonhead. Um, just to save us a little bit of running. And then from there, we'll shoot to the ogre's belly. We are in Dragon Head. We're gonna go shoot straight off to the right here. That should take us to the Ogre's Belly, where we are. We will be able to um, speak with Bruce Mort. Yeah, I've traveled this area so many times doing um, fate grinding parties, and actually mostly fate fate grinding parties. That was it, and uh, of course the storyline. But yeah, yeah, I kind of know this well, this area quite well. So they can actually tell me little areas, like they said, Bolt Downs, I knew where that was at. Um, you know, the Ogre's Belly. I, I know the general locations of where I need to get to in the quickest way to get there, just because you spend so much time. And I believe that's what you should do with any of the games you end up playing. Start mapping it out in your head. And uh, actually do that with your life too, you know. If you end up traveling places, just makes it a little nice little um, ability to have at hand. 
Alright, so see what we got here. Just my stuff like so. Okay, nothing too serious. I'm going to use this. You've grown strong since we last met, adventurer, but you pale in comparison with your Azure forebearers. If you would provide, if you would prove me wrong, let your lance do the talking. So I like how he how he just says something, and then we get right into a fight. So here we go. Start off with you. Gonna hit you with one of those. That. Alright, let's do a true thrust. Try that again. There we go. Stuff obtain Dragon Arter for Bruce Mont. There we go. Once again, adventure, you prove yourself worthy beyond my expectations. Take this, but know that your trial has only just begun. Your next challenge lies in the chamber beyond. Houston team awaits you there, okay? Okay, so you see in our chat log we have a pair of Draken Breaches and a pair of Draken. Oh no, just pair of dragon breaches that's it so our breach is going to be legs so we see what we have here our boar skin skirt set up we now have the dragon breaches which really don't show anything different which is lovely so now we can convert these boar skins okay, and the savage might material too is what we flip them into nice enough okay and now, with that being the case, we're just going to have us a jog straight into this Ogre's Belly Cave. A little bit deeper in. And there we go. Hustinin. Or Hustinini. Whatever. Alright. You, a foreigner, would don the Dragon Mail? Then prove to us that you will not do it dishonor. Okay, locate our next target. There he is. So far away. Close the gap. Be nice if I could close the gap, thank you. Stun a little bit. Decide it. Use that that um is that life surge properly? Come on, use it. Okay. Right, find out how to use that thing properly. Okay, Houston Neen. I bet said the eye had chosen you, and it would appear he speaks true. The armor is yours. Wear it with pride and honor. Your trial is not complete. But be forewarned, many before you have made it this far, only to fall at the final challenge. Do not let overconfidence be your downfall. Okay. So next up, we got the pair of dragon gauntlets. So I'm going to equip these as we pop into place. Nice, 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 very nice. A little darker purple than what my, my current armor is. So, interesting. Uh, back to this guy here, Bruce Mont again. So you have made it this far. Very well. Prove yourself worthy of the Azure, or die in the effort. Uh, this one, I'm just going to wait for him to come to me. Put up for it. 
Pair, which is a little opening attack for us. If I'm going to use his, uh, his, if he has one, I'm not sure if this one does. So there's nothing I need to stun him with yet either. So I'll just save that for this. Nice. Okay. So it seems like I got me a little little routine of how I'm gonna do this. Start things off at least. Alright, Bruce Mott. You've demonstrated your powers to me beyond a doubt. Aye, there is not an Ishgardian who would grain say again say you're right to don the armor of dragons. I shall send word ahead to Sir Albeck that you have passed your trials here. It is he that will present you with the final piece of armor and consummate your training. Go forth, my fellow dragoon, and deliver this land from the Great Worm's Wrath. Okay, so then we got some boots. Let's go ahead and throw on these the boots right now. As you can see, our... Honestly, it looks like our attack power went down about 100. That's what it looks like. Let's try it. Let's take a peek, okay? So it's at 306 now. Four skin things I already took off. Let's put those back on there. No, okay, I guess not. It was at two, uh, 297 versus 397. Okay, gotcha. So I'll say it doesn't make sense. And my older armor is actually doing me better. Okay, convert you. That would be lovely. And convert mithril. I believe that was it. Skill speed plus eight. Skill speed, wow, 14. Yeah, we'll definitely take those. That's what I want to see. Brilliant, okay. So we have that set up there. Call forth the Epoch, see where our next is going to be at. Just down there, that is it. By the looks of it. Nothing else, okay. So actually, we'll scratch Epoch. Um, for now, we'll just go Dragon Head, 50 kill. Dragon Arm is pretty nice. In Final Fantasy XI, I was able to get some of the parts of it. I believe the gloves, the feet, the legs. Um, don't believe I got the helmet. Don't believe I got the helmet, at least. I, may, I might have got the body piece. I think that that's how they did theirs before, was uh, they worked from the bottom up. So you got your boots. Your boots, your um, uh, legs, your hands, and then your body piece, and then your head. That's what I believe it was in Final Fantasy XI. Anyway, I do remember that I had Zasabara. Go to your head. No, it's not. Okay, yeah. Um, I believe I got my Dragoon um, AF all the way up to the body piece. Did not get the head piece. And I did get my Red Mage um, full on AF. AF1, I believe, is what it was. They had, like, a later version, I guess, but, yeah, pretty much, uh, everybody called it the Pimp Hat. So, once you got the Pimp Hat, then you, then you knew that you were official. So, yes, uh, but, but that stuff was way more difficult than it was than this is right now. This is actually manageable on your own before you needed parties to help you out and, and days on end to assure that you are able to get everything that you needed so that you could turn it in and and get the pieces, you know, it, it was a lot of it was a lot of work. That game was very time-consuming, but very fun too. Really uh, gave you a sense of accomplishment when you when you completed something. Oops, wrong direction. There we go. That's where we need to be at. All right, so shoot back into the observatorium area, and haha, like I, like I learned how to say it, right? Yeah, been practicing. So if I chat back to Albert here. I hear from Sir Bruce Mont that you perform most impressively. Yes, I stand more convinced that than ever that you will be the one to, to save our land. Yet be warned, Chrono, one last trial awaits you. You will face this trial in the presence of not knights, but in bleak and distant lands. Make your way to a steel vigil and seek out a gravestone north and west of the structure. Okay. 
Take with you this flute, and when you reach your destination, blow a single strong note. A visitor shall soon arrive. Entertain your guest, and should he leave behind a present, return it here to me. Oh, so now we get to fight a dragon. So, still vigil. Um, that one I don't know. I know the stone vigil area, which is up here, but this is the steel vigil area. That I'm not 100% sure with, so we're going to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to scour the map for that. Steel visual area. Is that all the way to the north? That it is. Oh, nice. I was uh, actually just thinking about this place. Um, when I did a fate with uh, Gius. I did um, the Savara fate with Gius. Or with Gius, sorry. And uh, she was running around killing some dragons over there. And I was thinking, like, yeah, they have this little corner area. I think it'd be pretty cool if there was a if there was a fate there or some sort of battle, some sort of epic battle that was supposed to be held there. Kind of like you know how the behemoth he has his little domain area. I don't, I don't know, just something else popping through my head. So anyway, um, doing that, or I was just kind of thinking of that that area, which you guys will see it, see exactly what I'm talking about. But it's a big cliff, and uh, it only has like a few ice elementals and a couple of dragons over there. Nothing too serious, but yeah, I, was, I was really hoping that there would, I would get a chance to fight something up there. And now, actually going along with this quest line, I do get to go over there and fight something, so I'm pretty excited about that now. Quite happy. Got your ogre territory. Okay, so this is what they call the steel visual area. I know this as the Savara fight area. Close to it, at least. So yeah, she had to pick up some knights. I'm sure if you guys remember us doing a storyline quest, there were some knights that were over here. We had to save uh, one of the, the house leaders. I uh, just kind of had to collect them up. So yeah. Yeah, this was the area right here. I was like, this is all nice. You know, kind of like a little stone hinge feel to it. Just, just a slight stone hinge. Not serious, but yeah. Whee whoop. Whee whoop. Hello. That's our guess that that's taken. Did it? Oh, it like it. Oh, it starts off paralyzed, that's nice. Duty Finder says Double Dragon deliver the Draconian Flute. Four yeah. skill. Jeez, so right back down there. Lots of traveling. Alright, deliver the Draconian Flute and Horde Skull to Albrecht. Okay. Yes, that is one thing that we are doing a lot of is traveling. But, alright. Go ahead and teleport just to save some time because this is a lot of uh, back and forth that we're partaking in. But it's okay because it is for a very good cause. We are getting our dragon armor, and with us being level 45 at the moment, um, in my armory chest, I have, um, here we go. I have this right here. It's tortoise shell scale mail. Um, hopefully that will look pretty nice and allow it oh, in combination with our current dragoon armor. We'll see if we can dye it a uh, color similar to what our current dragoon armor is, or maybe maybe it'll be something you know, a little different, makes us stand out a little more. I'm not sure. Purple and uh, purple and black, of course. Purple and gray. Purple and purple. Purple and white. 
Purple and yellow, I'm not sure if I could pull that one off. Purple and orange, probably not my character, not not yet. So, <laughs> I, I don't know, I'll play, I'll play around a little bit and see if there are any other colors that I can accent, accent the armor with until I can get the full body piece. But when, when you do so, I shall furnish you with the final piece of your armor and see that your training as an Azure drag Dragoon is complete. So I do have two of the things that you need. Ah, the skull of Greywine, proud old warrior of the Dravanian Horde. They say that in ages past, he could bring down a mighty castle with a single breath. His strength was dwindled some, sen some since those days, but a dragon past his prime is a formidable foe nonetheless. In slaying him, you have proven yourself worthy worthy of this. You now possess the self-same dragon mail that Esteny, myself, and our forebears did wear, and by your triumphs in the in your trials and against the dragon of the horde, its blood resonates with yours. Yes, you are now fully prepared to receive my final teaching. And yet, before we proceed, I would hear I would hear it from your own lips. The Great Worm's power is the stuff of legends. Have you truly resolved to fight this battle? To risk your life to save a foreign land fr from its ancient foe? When your mind is settled, return and speak to me. Okay. So we're just going to complete that and I do get a Draken Armlet. Um, I have no idea what the Armlet is. What is that? A wrist piece, maybe? I don't know. Wrist? Nope. Ring? Uh-uh. Ears? Nope. Neck? A belt? Perhaps? Nothing of the sort. Wait a second, what's this? Something that I don't need. Okay. okay I just want to make sure I don't have anything I'm missing out here. Okay, so head. Or not the body piece, headpiece maybe? Oh, that's exactly what it is, it's the headpiece. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, yeah, I was talking about Final Fantasy, I suppose. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy XI. Nice. Okay. So now we are officially clad up in almost all of our armor. Very nice, very nice look too. Okay, um, so with that being the case, now we just have a chat back to Albrecht again, and see what he has to say. Alright, so this one is going to give us some more experience, and the ability of Power Surge, lovely. So this increases the damage dealt by a single jump, or a Spine Shadow Dive, by 50%. Hmm. Okay, so we got another, we got Life Surge and Power Surge, nice. Let's figure out how it works out. So you would join your strength to Estenines, that Ishgard might be free from the rage of the Great Worm forever, forevermore? Then I shall honor my promise. You shall have full use of your powers by the time we are done. Before we begin, there is something I must needs confess. You will recall the tale of my battle with Nidhogg twenty years past, and how the power of the dragon left me on account of the injuries I sustained. What I said was, was an untruth. The power did not abandon me, Krono. It was I who abandoned it. Being derived from our mortal enemies, the power of the Azure Dragoon is a double-edged sword. Even as it lends us, us the strength we need to smite dragons, it heightens our communion with the creatures, rendering our minds more susceptible to their, to their seduction than ordinary men. Even as I buried my lance in Nidhogg's flesh, our gaze is locked and mine, mine eyes met then with a look that would fair impale a man. In an instant I found myself assailed by a torrent of emotions not my own. Sorrow, rancor, pity, they threatened to drown the man in me and leave behind the dragon. Fearing that I might turn a traitor, I chose to purge myself of the power that the eye had bestowed upon me. Thus regaining lucidity, I was able to rout the grievous wounded Nidhogg. Alas, countless of his brethren yet remained, as if to mock me. They fell upon Ferndale with, with a vengeance. Bereft of my 
power, it was all I could do to save but one child. Nary a soul knows of this, nay, not even Estenine, but I can keep him in the dark no longer. At our last meeting, Estenine said that protecting Ishgard and exacting revenge upon Nidhogg are as one to him. That frame of mind, I fear, may well lead to his demise. The desire to protect and the desire to avenge are opposing forces that can ill be reconciled. Worse, the latter serves only to cloud the sense of, se the sense of self. When next Essenine and I meet, I intend to confess all, though it means the loss of his good opinion, the outcome of the coming battle, and his very life may well depend upon his readiness to relinquish his powers. Never allow yourself to forget the origin of your strength. Ever does the dragon lurk behind your eyes, biding its time, biding its time, ready to claim you for its own. Ought less than complete conviction, and you will find yourselves in its vice-like clutches. So forewarned, let us return to our present endeavor. My promise to Essene was that I would impart unto you the technique that will mark you as a true Azure Dragon. If you would know the truth, however, this knowledge is not within my power to bestow. Now you must claim the technique much as you claim the fourth piece of the armor you bear, by proving yourself in battle with the dragons, whose powers you would unite with your own. I entrust you with this flute once more, take it to the southwest providence point and blow a single note. By locking wills with your adversary and prevailing, you prove yourself worthy to champion the cause to which your lance is sworn. The dragon the dragon within you shall then awaken, sorry. Okay, so normally uh, since we are a little bit over time, I would just go ahead and uh and end this episode now. But I mean honestly we just have to shoot up to this area right here. And yeah, doesn't seem too bad. So what we're gonna do is uh again yet another teleport to Cap Dragon Head. Since um pretty much the main talking part is over. I started I don't know, I just get so tired of him talking all the time. <laughs> Cause he just like they just ramble it on. Like such deep paragraphs all the time. I get tired of it. Anyway, um turn behind us, it's gonna be this way. Okay, right around here. Right outside the camp. And up this direction, okay. Hopefully right around here. I should think it should be right around here. Hopefully it's not above me, because that's a hike. That is, it's up above me, isn't it? That it is. Just to make sure we're gonna run about here too. Yeah, I feel like it's up there. Okay. Fascinating indeed. Okay, so we're going to shoot off to the area where the ogres are located at. Which is right through the camp again. So yes, not underneath the camp, but actually above the camp. Climbing up those mountains a little bit there. Yep, of course, of course, of course. Was what a very, very long run, but yeah, it's, it's fine. Not really too upset about it. Like I said, I was gonna I was gonna cut the video in half, or um, or cut the video for 40. I guess, I'll, or I guess, yeah, the Dragon 40 mission that we just did with the armor. Or 45 with the armor, sorry. I was gonna cut that and then start off a new one with the secondary um, Dragon 45. But yeah, it was already over. I had to read that long little tale and whatnot, so I figured I'd go for it. Alright, so we got five minutes left on our food, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at this destination here. Sweet! Okay, 
those guys are just so far away. I just want to shatter you. Oh yeah, come to the side. Keep going. Zoom this out. Blood for blood. Some of his health here. There we go. Return the flute back to Albrecht again. Alright. So, with this one, since we are already on our Chocobo, and you can see they ate the right, right in the distance, we're just gonna have us a huge jump. What? Legs are broken. Ah! <laughs> the first time, or actually, normally, whenever I play games like this, and, I, and I, my character jumps off a huge jump like that, like, uh, like my my heart kind of sinks in, you know, because I kind of I'm just watching him come, and I'm like, oh no, I like I, I might have messed up. My guy's gonna die. So yeah, I just kind of feel out like I really am him too. Same type of feeling that you'd feel if you had fell off from a high part didn't think you were going to make it. Yeah, that's what I feel. What is this fate? This right here. Let's go and fight him a little bit. I'll select, select. Okay. Sure, the ability, right? I can, uh, I'm on the side of you. Of course, I'm not gonna win this battle, I don't know. I don't know why I'm gonna about to 300 HP. Just haven't been able to do anything with the app. Nice little damage into him there. Fair enough. Gotta go. That's all I got. Something by is coming up. Nobody's coming. That's all 
I had tried to beat him up, but nobody else came, so it's the one. Oh, I guess it's this kind of late at night, though. So, yeah, the one time when nobody wants to come to a fight. But it is alright. Then Doug said, it's all G double O D good. We are going to have our little chat to Albert and call it a night. It's fun though, I got to actually play around with it a bit, see exactly uh, um, how I can solo. It's good to see you safely returned. I'll take from your bearing that the engagement went for favorably. Yes, it did. Here's another horn for you. You left this place as a man, Chrono, but you return as a dragon. There is no more for me to teach you. From here, your battle is yours and yours alone. Now, you might recall me saying that the fifth and final piece of the dragon armor was not mine to give. However, that is not wholly true. I, I could guide you in the direction of that which you seek. That said, I've, I yet have reservations. The sheer power of the dragon house within is such that a great many of your azure forebears, myself among them, have proven hopelessly incapable of wielding it. But I do not doubt what I see. I within you has awakened a strength that forever eluded the likes of me. If you are not worthy of wearing the armor, then I know none who are. Remember my warning to you, Chrono, and heed it well. Nidhogg is a lord among his kind, aught less than complete conviction and you will surely fall under his thrall before you can master your foe you must needs master yourself hone your lance arm till it can bear no further honing and then present yourself to me when the time has come I will tell you what you need to know I look forward to our next meeting my young dragon okay so get our power surge ability oh, let's go and pull that in into our arsenal. But the da 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 Alright, and now the next one should be available at 50 into the Dragon's Maw. There we go, level 50, and that's going to give us the Draken Mail, the body piece that we'll need, and Dragonfire Dive. Just had a Dragonfire Salmon thing, I think it was called, at a TGI Friday. Just reminded me of that. Anyway, it delivers a jumping, fire-based attack with a potency of 250 to all nearby enemies. Cannot be executed while bound. Perfect. Alright, so yes, we have our Dragoon armor on. I actually kind of like this the most because um, um, out of, you know, of course my White Mage was the only other, other option that I got to see. But, yeah, you could uh, like really can tell that I'm wearing my, my gear because of my helmet. Whereas with the white mage, I put on my stuff, you can't really tell anything because the white mage gear is made from the body piece like that. That's the that's the iconic part of it. But yeah, this is uh actually the the cane, the iconic cane look right there. So very interesting. But anyway, on behalf of uh, Chrono Ocelot and myself, I would like to thank you guys for watching this edition of Game Time with Final Fantasy XIV: A Realm Reborn for the PlayStation Three. And until next time, guys, this is all of us saying bye-bye, farewell, and we will see you next time.